I am Christian Harvin, and woo, okay, I can do this, I can do this. And this is the first time for everything show. It's kind of cute, right? So last week, we explored deep into a cave, but this week, we are in a completely different world. Today, we are exploring food, and not just any food, mud bugs. These guys are also known as crawfish. We're going behind the scenes and experiencing the process of getting, preparing, and ultimately eating these. Not only have I ever had crawfish, I've never played a part in preparing the creature I'm about to consume. This is definitely going to be experience, so let's experience it together. Welcome to Louisiana. This is a land of true southern country. This place is home to many different things, swamps, mosquitoes, gators, and today's focus, crawfish. Our friends at Bayou Boys Crawfish have taken their love for Louisiana and brought it up here to Northwest Arkansas so we can experience it as well. I'm a super picky eater, but this brand is all about trying new things and experiencing new things, even when it looks scary. If you love crawfish, come give these guys a try, just like we're about to today. Here goes nothing. What's up, man? What's How up, you doing, dude? bro? Nice man, to meet you. nice You're to the crawfish, yeah, man, huh? The crawfish, man. So What's today, up, everybody? Today's the big day, right? Today's the big day, the grand opening for the Bayou Boys Woo! Crawfish Shack and Catering. Okay, well, I'm here because I have never had crawfish ever <laughs> in my life. I still can't believe that. I know. Although we talked about it over the phone. I know. I can't believe that. Also, part two, um, <laughs> I am a gagger. Like, I am like, the, I'm a softy, but oh, I'm determined. Oh, man. You guys are going to hook me up, right? Yes, okay. yes. We're going to okay. take care of you. So, uh, that's Jimmy J. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet He's you. He's the other owner. What's up, other man? Bayou Boys. Nice to meet you. And then that's, uh, that's his nephew, my cousin. Uh, okay. His name's Cam. Also, I didn't get the memo on the shirts. Bro, all right, so <laughs> the shirts. We, we have a podcast called Man With The Plan Podcast. Okay. Okay, and so we were trying to figure out how can we raise money uh, so people can get scholarships. Uh, that's one of our goals. Well, we cook crawfish. Yeah. And so, but we didn't know if anybody liked our crawfish or not. <laughs> so uh, I heard about a crawfish competition. Yeah. And so uh, I entered the competition. So like, imagine if today's Friday, today's Friday, uh -huh. we heard about the competition Friday. Yeah. And we entered Saturday. So you made all the stuff that day. That day. How did it end up? Literally, like in seven hours, we had seven hours to get ready for yeah. the competition. We ended up coming second place overall and we won people's choice overall so we've got two awards so we have award-winning crawfish when you come to the bayou boys crawfish shack you're eating award-winning crawfish so okay just first, know that my first taste of crawfish is award-winning crawfish. yes sir okay. yes sir cool cool so man so you told me we're gonna go get the crawfish right? yes we're gonna go uh head over to our crawfish place where we get our crawfish from okay and then after that we gotta do a couple more errands okay. gotta get ice and we gotta get one more cooler. Guys, because this is we need a cooler. Opening up the This is opening up right here. So the crawfish yes, behind Yes, this is the scenes. behind the scenes, bro. Yeah, first behind time for everything, man. Let's do it. You ready? Uh, yeah, I'm ready, okay, bro. Let's, let's go. go. Okay, Mr. Mike, we're rolling. Uh, we're rolling. We're now. rolling. So, uh, the funny deal, we, we, we struck a deal with one of our competitors called yeah. Swamp Kitchen. Okay. So that's where we're headed. Oh, really? Yeah. So, we're going to enemy territory. We're going to enemy territory to buy our crawfish, okay? Huh. Is what? It, is it a pitchy situation? <laughs> <laughs> that was rough. <laughs> that was, I mean, I even put that hey, one in there. I like corny jokes, okay? <laughs> so I'm cool. That was funny. <laughs> Good. Okay, we're on a good start. So we're on our way to pick up the crawfish, right? Yes. And then so after that, what's the next step? And then the next step is we're bring the crawfish back. Okay. And uh, we're going to start washing crawfish. Okay, and we're like, we're like T minus what, like three hours? Three hours. Woo! It's three game hours. on. It's game Man, on. It's game on. I'm Guys, nervous. I got butterflies. I got. I mean, I, I got. But yeah, me too. I'm, this, I'm, I'm, this whole this whole world is new to me. So um, we're just we're just gonna dive in. Um, see how it goes. Cook some crawfish and apparently eat some crawfish, right? Yes. That's the yes, end goal. Yes, so stay tuned. Goal. Stay tuned. I'm gonna like it. I am. <laughs> Mr. Mike promised me. Yes. It's gonna be great. Yes, it's, it's gonna, gonna be great. great. Okay. Gonna be great. Rock on. Okay. So um, on the way here, I was just thinking. So in the south, there's like sweet tea. There's Dr Pepper. There's mm. there's um country music, Walmart, all all the things that like like. It's, it's a very pinnacle thing of the South. Okay. Crawfish is a big one, right? Crawfish is huge. How did I miss it? Bro, because, well, how <laughs> did you miss it? Yeah, like, well, here's the thing. I'm originally, I'm from New Orleans, okay? Okay. So, uh, and now, that's down south yeah. of the state, of the United States. So, you missed it because we live in Northwest Arkansas, okay? Okay. So, that's, like, Northwest Arkansas is still technical south, but we still kind of 
It's and different. Then, it's different. You know, it's gotcha. different. So, but you missed it because you haven't hung around the right people. Okay, so now I am. I'm Not, around the right people. Mr. Yeah. Mike Wright. Yes, sir. He's the right person. <laughs> <laughs> also, I have another theory, too. Okay. Um, so, you know, babies when they're born, okay. uh, they, they live off of milk for the yeah. first while, right? I'm pretty sure babies from Louisiana. I mean, it's just crawfish, right? It's like, just crawfish. Like, like, right? I mean, I heard, I heard it from a very reliable, very secretive source, but... Yeah, like we love off crawfish, years, though. It's just crawfish, It's right? just crawfish, man. Yeah, you just milk the little guys, and then... And then, that pretty much, we learn how to peel the tails and yeah. and, and eat it as a, as a, as a baby, so yeah. that's also, how it do works. Also, you suck the heads? Well, you know, sometimes I only do it for the camera. Oh, no. So that's what I do it for yes, the camera. Yes, you had to no. do it for the camera! Well, here's the thing. Sucking the head part of the crawfish is like where all the flavor resides. So like all the juices and all the all of the goodness. Like brain juices. Like brain juices. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> like instead of squirrel brains, it's crawfish brains. Have you had squirrel brains? No, I haven't. I have squirrel before though. I, I had squirrel. squirrel either. One time I went camping and uh we forgot our food. Yeah. And so, so you we, had to get a squirrel. We had to get a squirrel. So we looked up. Did you kill it with? Well, I was hunting. It was for opening day of hunting season. Okay. And so we all had 22s, and we had our rifles for uh, for hunting, too, at the same time. So my buddies I was with, they looked up. They say, boy, well, there's dinner tonight. <laughs> <laughs> they probably sounded just like they that. They sounded just yeah. like that. So they yeah. looked up and pow, pow, <laughs> knocked down a couple squirrels, and and uh, we harvested them, and we, we had squirrels yes. for dinner. Here we go. We're rolling up to the swamp kitchen right here. This is the source. Stuff we're getting today. Hey, Mr. Mike, I'm gonna let you talk business, okay? Okay, let's go. All right, so here, where we got our crawfish, bro. How you doing? Good, man. <laughs> so this is where the magic this happens, is where huh? This where the magic happens. Okay. So um, he goes down south and he picks up the crawfish, and yeah. this is the perfect way to how to store it. Look at all this and, stuff, guys. Yeah. Can you see that? Look, so they're all alive right now? Yeah, they're all alive right now. Holy cow. <laughs> they're big. So we're going to grab about 200 pounds of crawfish. How, how many off. bags is that? Uh, I think. I don't know yet. I haven't really. <laughs> <laughs> Man, Captain Cannon's getting his workout today, yeah, huh? Yeah, yeah, he is. So you pick up that little thing right there. So, yeah. So we've got 32 pounds here. Okay. Welcome to the south. Hi, little guy. <laughs> So each of these bags is 32 pounds? Well, they range from 30 to 40 pounds. Okay. Because this one's 38 pounds. Okay. There it is. Yep. <sighs> Dug out another one. No, no, yes, okay. Actually. This right here, ugh, it's 32 pounds of live crawfish. These guys are huge. I had no idea they were this big. He jumped up there. Well, oh, how'd you get up there, little guy? <laughs> Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah. Okay. Woo. Macho, macho man. Get some crawfish to do. <laughs> that look really good. Yeah, it looks so good. Uh oh. Uh -oh. That doesn't look so good, does it? <laughs> Bloopers. There we go. There we go. Okay, is that it? <laughs> yeah, that's it. <laughs> Times you know in life when life gives you lemonade with lemons, my wife said make a beef stew. <laughs> <laughs> so today we're making beef stew. <laughs> today we're making crawfish stew <laughs> with some lemons and, and all the great ingredients. That's right. That's so, right. Well, we picked up these monster crawfish. I had no idea they were this big. No idea. But, yeah, me and Mr. Mike just been chatting, but man, it's almost game time, right? Bro, it's almost game time. We're man. rolling up. What time Dude. is it now? What time is it? 8.30. No, 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 it's 9.30. That oh, us. really? Right, so it's 9.30. So we got an hour so and a half. Yes. Hour and a half, bro. Hour okay. and a half before game time. Man. Well, we are we are rolling up on the spot again, and then, um, man, we're going outside. I told right. Mr. Mike, just tell me where you need me, and, um, and I will help out wherever I can. My goal is to not be in the way. 
but also I want to get my hands a little bit dirty. Yeah, so. <laughs> we're gonna help him get his hands dirty. It's uh, gonna be great. We're gonna help him get his hands dirty. So yeah. what I'm gonna have him do, I'm gonna have him dump the first bag of crawfish oh, in, my the, word. in the crawfish cleaner. He was telling me crawfish they pinch like they will they pinch, they they will will pinch, pinch the pinch. dog out of you. Yes, the snot dog out of you. The snot dog out of you is what he said. <laughs> That's not comfy. Their pinches are big. It's, okay, well it's fine though. We're gonna do it. We're gonna do it. Here we it. go. Here, here we, we go. go. We're here. So we're here. Oh, we got, so we got some more people. Roll up here. We got some of the team members here. Here we go. It's game on right now. Woo! It's about to be game. Mr. Mike, you ready? Come on. That's like you said, these suckers pinch like crazy. Is, is there a technique to not get my uh, uh, my chompers chopped off? Yeah, just don't get in the way. <laughs> <laughs> Have you done this before? When, not this part. Okay. So this whole brand's first time for everything, right? We're yeah. here doing stuff for the first time. So awesome. you're in it with me. So I'm just gonna grip it and dump it, right? Well. Yeah. Have it open like that. Oh, they're so big. Oh my yeah, word. Yeah. They got some small ones in there too though. Oh, they got some so big scary. ones. Alright, so here you go. So this is lunch right here. The bag, can't pitch it to the back. Okay, so so what am I gonna right, do? I'm gonna grab it by the bottom? Pick it up. Okay. No, pick it one up here. Okay, one here, one at the bottom. bottom. Then we're gonna dump it. Okay, you guys you ready? Here we go. Ah. Oh my goodness gracious. There's so many crawfish. Oh, they're getting close to the old hand. <laughs> Here we go. Look at those things moving. Holy oh, cow. Big dad. Hit the water. I dare uh, you stick your hand in there. Yet, <laughs> oh, you're going to grab one? See? Well, there's a technique. Woo! That See, one guys. almost got me. That big baby almost got me. <laughs> this is day. Oh, there's you can technique. smell it. You can smell it. Yeah. See, if you grab them right here, yeah. right behind the neck area there, okay. they can't pinch you. So here you go. You want me to grab one? Yeah, go ahead. You got to grab one right behind the <laughs> From neck From in there? Area. From in there, bro. <laughs> so, okay, this is the experience. Let's get one. Atta boy. Okay, there you okay, go, Zach. Okay. Yeah. Hey, I'll, 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 I'll grab the one. See, right there, right okay, behind. Okay, okay. Ooh, that one right there. Yeah. Oh! Come on, don't be scared. Oh! oh he did it! <laughs> Oh, he's trying to get me. He's trying to get me. <laughs> okay, so this is lunch right here. This is lunch. This right is here. lunch. <laughs> that was actually kind of scary. That was actually kind of scary. This is crazy. This is crazy. You spend a third of your life on your mattress. Most mattresses, really good ones, seven to nine years is the average. At about 10 years, almost a third of the weight of the mattress is dead skin cells, dust mites, and other stuff we don't even want to talk about. All right, guys, we've got a mattress that's about eight years old. I've got my protective gloves and mask on because you really don't want to smell this stuff. So we're going to cut it open to show you that around eight years, you've got pounds and pounds of dead skin, dust mites, dust, just nasty stuff in your mattress. So, here we go. It's like cutting open a deer. Uh, so, all of these padding layers, <coughs> all of these padding layers, see, they get dust, dead skin cells, dirt, oils from your body. All of this gets trapped in your mattress. So, not only are your coils wearing out, but you're breathing this back in every time you lay down and put your head close to the mattress. So remember, if you're hunting for a new mattress, if you're on one that's seven to nine years old, you don't want to be sleeping on all that junk that's in there. So take your hunt to Cloud9 Mattress Outlet, where we can save you 40 to 80% off of name brand mattresses. So have you had crawfish? Yeah, yeah. You uh, frequent? Not frequent. Okay. Now, growing up, my mom's from Louisiana. Oh, so you you you're no G. 
a little bit. Yeah, little see, bit. I have a theory. People in Louisiana, when they're babies, right, you have milk usually. But I think babies from Louisiana have crawfish milk, right? Is I think that true? So. No, I'm <laughs> it's not true? Okay. I'm allergic to milk. <laughs> oh, okay, gotcha, gotcha. So you didn't. But okay. Crawfish. <laughs> it's different, it's different. Yeah, it's different. Yeah. Catfish, crawfish, shrimp, all that stuff. Gotcha. I grew up on that. Well, yeah. I've never had crawfish. This is my first time. Oh, is it really? Yeah. Oh, you That's why I'm here. That's why while we're doing this, so I'm going to try it. It's yeah. The whole build up is going to be great. You're going to be excited. Oh, yeah. So you oh, yeah. know when you try it, they tell you gotta. Everyone keeps telling scales. me that. I don't want to do you know, that. Fish, do all that stuff. Yeah. I personally, I'm a shrimp guy. Okay. But the crawfish boil, you can't do it. So it's good. I love it. So yeah. you pinch the tail and then what else do you do? I guess you pinch the tail and you can take the meat out and eat that. So you literally cook. just pull the meat out? Yeah. It'll come out like a lobster. Like a, like a I haven't had like lobster tiny. either. Really? No. no. Oh my god. I was homeschooled. I'm sheltered. So he's doing the process. The crawfish are about to go into this, this water. That's it, it, all of his ingredients, all the stuff's in there. He's doing great. And guys, look behind him. He's getting busy already. We're like 30 minutes out. So the process is rocking and rolling. Mike's killing it. He's doing his thing. Woo -woo. The crawfish man. The crawfish, crawfish man. Crawfish man. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Looking good. Looking Don't good. Put your gloves on. And they must have given me the women's size gloves. <laughs> and you're right. When last gives you lemon, you make you make crawfish. crawfish you weren't joking. Man. No. <laughs> Because <laughs> he's too strong. He's too strong. Y'all excited? Yes. Hey, Mr. Mike, opening day. How are you feeling? Uh, well, you feeling I'm good? Feeling you feeling the pressure? Yeah, I'm feeling the pressure. Hey, it's a good thing. It's a good feeling. We're living the dream right now. Yes. Okay. Should we Okay. Man, guys, I wish smell of vision was a thing because this smells good. This smells so good. There's hope. I think I'm gonna like this. I really do. Mr. Mike, I'm getting excited. Yes, <laughs> okay, so what's next? Now we stir her up. Okay. Man, that smell. It's so good. Okay. This one here is ready. Are you ready for this? Dump it in there. Let's see it. Woo! Let the magic begin. Okay. Man, it's a master at work right here. The crawfish man at work. Rest in peace, my friends. You're for a good cause. <laughs> Guys, for those of you who are watching, we're showing the process of how food is actually made, okay? This is part of food making. You enjoy it, but someone's got to be doing this part. Good? Good. Okay. Good. I'm wait. Uh, did you try it? Oh man. I want. I want to try it with Mr. Mike. I'm trying to be patient. Oh, you trying to wait on Mr. Mike? Look at this. So how, how does this work? Like, where, where do you where do you bite it? The tail. So you just bite that sucker off, or you peel it off? Like, what do you do? Peel off the tail. Okay. Oh man. Right now? Go ahead. Right now? <laughs> Okay, so, so here, you, you, you grab one too, I'm gonna split this in half. Okay, We're gonna do this together. Okay, so sh kind of walk okay. me through it. So pick it up. Oh, I'm so scared. I'm so scared. Pick one up. Guys, this is like, it's, a, it's just sitting here like, it's like a little puppet. Yeah, so you, uh, okay, so, so, twist it off. Oh man. Twist the tail off. What do you mean? Like, so you grab the tail and twist it? it. I'm, oh, yeah, I did it. Okay, you got it. Oh. Take it off. Okay, and then what? Okay, now squeeze the top. <laughs> Oh, it's, it's, it's squirted. Okay, now nah, peel it. Now peel it. It's a lot of work for your food. I'm not used to working for my food. So we're peeling it a little bit. Peel it. Okay, am I doing it right? Yeah, you're doing it right. Is it, is it pretty common for a first timer to be struggling this uh -huh. much? Okay. You want me to do it for you? Man. Is, it, is that it right there? Yeah, that's it. Okay. 
Alright, now eat Now what? Now you just, so what, what's this little thing right here? Eat it. Eat, eat the whole stuff. thing? Eat everything. Eat everything. Okay, so is there any mental barriers that need to get passed first? Uh, no, texture, you texture. did it. You did it. That's good. Go ahead. Okay, so now just eat it. Where's Mr. Mike at? We gotta find him. One second. Here, y'all come with me. We're gonna find him when he comes out. This, this is a big deal. <laughs> I'm about to. This is it. This is it. Mr. Mike! Dude. I'm gonna try it right now. Go ahead, man. You ready? Tell me what you think, bro. Watch out, watch out, watch out. That's good. That's good stuff. That's good. Right, big old, like a big old one? I need a lobster size of it. <laughs> okay, I'm, I thought I was going to gag. I really did. I'm not a fish Why guy. I'm not a fish guy. <laughs> That's good. I'm going to get a little more. You can't. These aren't fish. You can't kill them with fish. This is your first time trying it? It is. Okay. Yeah, this is so I know this I is a big step. Like head. Don't, don't say it. Don't you. say it. No. Okay, so I just met Miss Heather. Um, she came over while I was trying to eat the crawfish. Crawfish is really good. I'm gonna say it right now. It was good. But she said that, um, like I, I knew they were gonna say at some point, you're supposed to take off the head and just suck the juices out of the head. So she said it's really good. So I'm gonna try it with her once we get more crawfish. And um, she promises it's great. So I'm gonna trust her. This is what this brand's all about. First time for everything, trying stuff for the first time. Your crawfish is good. I tried it. Awesome. It's good. Yeah. Yep. Let's go. Yeah. So yeah, we're gonna try it. Okay. Stick with me. Oh, oh yeah. I just now had crawfish for the first time ever, like three minutes ago. That's why, I'm, that's why I'm here doing this. Yeah. Oh, had a butt bug. I know, right? I've told everybody. I've heard that babies from Louisiana, when they're born, they drink crawfish milk instead of regular milk growing yeah, up. Right? It's true, it. right? Both are I knew it. Born in Baton Rouge. Yeah. We actually went to New Orleans on our honeymoon. Okay. And so we are. You were born and raised. Very. Hey, our, this, this is the real deal. deal. It's the real deal. So yeah. Mr. Mike's the real deal, huh? Absolutely. Yeah, he's a great guy. Well, cool. I hope y'all enjoy it. Be real. Thank you. Well. I think they're pretty hot. They are pretty hot. Whew. I got them. It it's time, I guess. They're really hot. So here, you take one of those. Is there a napkin anymore? Oh, up here. I'm getting a napkin. She volunteered herself. I guess so. She does it, man. She's from. So, what in the world do I do? So again, a lot of the flavor is right in here. The juices? So, yeah. Is it literally brain juices? Maybe. <laughs> it's not funny. <laughs> Some people actually take the back this part off and like get the meat out of the room. It is going I will, there. I won't make you do that. I appreciate it. So uh, how do you get so to look, it? You do it like normal, like you're gonna just eat this part. Yep. So again, if you really want to get, you can kind of crunch it a little bit, and but if not, you just. Oh my word! Oh, spicy. Your face kind of did one of these, um, and, and you're you're a I'm veteran. Work at it. Okay. okay. Guys, first time for everything. I'm out here out of my comfort zone for you guys to encourage you to do the exact same thing. Heather? So I squish it and then you suck it. You don't have to squish it. Okay. You can. You got the right in? Yeah, I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> don't play with me like that. You That's not it. funny. It's not funny. Man, it's an audience. See, what's all that stuff in there? Um, fat. <laughs> hey, you ready? Here we go. Enough build up. How do you get that again? So you just grip it. This is a lot of work for your food. I'm not used to this. No, it is a lot. With a hamburger, you just grab it and eat it, and it's really easy. Pretty firm, and take like the first couple rings off. What you laughing at? You notice he's got over here. Try to get it all off, kind of like that. What on earth? Is that because I can probably yank that sucker out now? Yeah. So if you push on the bottom, kind of. Okay. Here we go. Let's see like that. Yep. Okay. That's a good there you go. One. That's good. There you go. Okay. Is that all the meat you get out of it? Yeah, yeah. That's why you suck. <laughs> that's that's why you suck the head to get that extra that's juice. It's a lot of work for a little reward. Y'all want to suck the head? Okay. We came and we conquered. Thank you so there much. You're welcome. You're very knowledgeable. Yes. Well, I grew up in Lake Charles. Okay. So you, I was two when you've they been there, done that. Do okay. Yeah. Awesome. Well, I'll let you enjoy it. Thank you. Y'all too. Y'all too. <laughs> Okay guys, um, we came, we conquered, we tried crawfish for the first time. I got to have a hand in making it, which was so cool. But Mr. Mike 
he got tied up making his amazing crawfish. As you can see, this place is popping, which is so cool to see because this is their opening day. This is their first day actually open. So, Mr. Mike, thank you so much for letting us come get our hands all up in your crawfish. It's been great. Guys, check out Bayou Boys Crawfish. They're amazing. It was so good. I am such a light, sensitive eater. I gagged at an egg I ate a couple days ago right into the sink. It was disgusting, but this was good. This was so good. So, thank you so much for watching. First time for everything. Episodes coming out every other week. We appreciate you so much. See you in the next one. Whoosh.